this baby, he would have been like born now. When I first arrived, that's what happened, right? No, it was a few weeks before that. You wanted a replacement for your lost kid. I'm your one last pathetic shot at motherhood, aren't I, Sarah? But that's why you came to Samoa. Get a tan, a couple of souvenirs, and hey, want to buy a kid with well, you there. On. And you're no better either letting her use me. Don't you put this on TK or me, all right? This is about you making a mistake and about us dealing with it as a family. A family? How deluded are you, Sarah? Uh, Oi, that's enough. Ever since you walked in here, TK and I have done everything we can to make you happy. We have given you everything you need and more. And what have you done for us? You've just given us a big fat headache. Yeah, I'm a useless kid, I know. But I can't help my genes, especially when I have a useless mother. Oi, I said that's enough. Just say sorry and it's all over. Apologize to your mother. I can't, because I won't mean it. Go get the MP3s, all of them. Well, what's that got to Just do with them? I don't have them anymore. Crap. Go get them. I'm taking them to the police. And you're coming with me. Fine, I'll get them myself. Now you're going to help first. One of the house officers asked Jackie to take blood. She said, sorry, no can do, and walked off. <laughs> well, that is great, but you don't even need to say sorry. No apologies, no pushovers, because I know some of you have been caving. You can't, you have to stay strong. Right on, sister. Why are we on strike again? We're not on strike, we're just doing our jobs. Nothing more, nothing less. And we will continue to do so until we get adequate resources, until we get respect from the doctors. Respect from Maxwell, you mean? He's really the only one who sticked you off. I think you're right there, Tans. It's not just me. He doesn't respect any of us. He calls us nurses. Where's Scotty at with all this? <laughs> oh, as his management, Scotty's remaining neutral. Sounds like he needs to man up. He's man enough for Shanti. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> Come on, guys, please, focus. We just need to keep hanging on in there. No letting the doctors pressure you into doing anything that you are not paid to do. And if any of them get nasty, just come and see me. Dismissed? Yeah, I'm hungry. All right, keep up the good work, team. Hey, I spoke with TK. He said you didn't stay at his place last night. That'd be right. Where did you stay? My business. Well, you could have stayed at home with Brooke Freeman there. Get real. She didn't stay long. Long enough, though, yeah. Hmm. What did they give you for the pain relief? Sorted. What happened, anyway? Don't ask. So when's your next appointment? And don't fuss. Look, just so you know, despite the situation with Brooke, I am still your father, and I will always fuss. Is that some kind of apology? Not much call for a one-handed barman. Are you taking much time off? Not sure. That's the way, Dad. Just pay me off. That always works. You have to eat, son. I don't want your money. Just put it in a safe place for when Sophie gets back. She might take a bribe. Yeah, you haven't thought that far ahead yet, have you? No, because your thoughts aren't controlled by your brain. Hey, hey, hey! This conversation has ended. I am just warming up. But you know, there is one conversation that I do not want to have, and that is with my mother. Because I just don't know what to tell her. Do you? Turned his room upside down, I couldn't find anything. Well, maybe he was telling the truth for once. You don't believe that? I want to believe it, and then I want it all to just go away. Hunter was beaten up in this house. It could have been Daniel. No, no, it should have been Daniel. I just have to tell the police about the MP3s and take it from there. No, I can't. Can't what? I can't turn in my own son. You're not doing it, I am. TK, no! He received stolen goods from who? We don't know. Probably some gang out south, then he sold them. It's his fault. It's mine. He's my son, my responsibility, and I have stuffed up somehow, so I need to fix it. Look, if he'd lied about his homework, taken five dollars from your wallet, yes, I'd agree, but this is a whole load of stolen... talk to me again. This is not a popularity contest. This is about right and wrong. It's about keeping this kid away from gangs. I know, I know, but... I still can't do it. Okay. Okay, so what can you do? Tans, can you grab some fluorescein for me, please? Sure. It's GP diagnosed conjunctivitis and prescribed antibiotic eye ointment. Thank you. 
Jeez. Everything running smoothly in here today? Like clockwork. You look disappointed. Maxwell. Uh, you're here. Pop a couple of drops into Mr. Bridges up. Sure. You're here or why not? I'll tell you why not. Eye drops to be given by a doctor, not a nurse. Quite right. Uh, I'll do the drops. You bring in the next patient. Sure. Thank you. Oh, hey, guys. What can I do for you? The least you do, the better. Meaning? Stay away from my son. And where did this come from, pray tell? Daniel's learning to be a criminal. We wondered who the teacher was. <laughs> I think that boy got his education long before he met me. What's that supposed to mean? Let's just say Daniel strikes me as one of those boys that's easily led. Peer pressure and all that. Don't talk like you know my son. Eight yeah, years, mummy, you know him better than anyone. But from my point of view, he needs somebody to pull him into line fast before he gets caught up the wrong sort of people. <laughs> that's pretty rich coming from you. Anyway, thanks for your time. Just so we're clear, he will not work for you, he will not visit you, he will not talk to you in the street. Fine by me. And you won't try to contact him behind our backs? Nope. He's all yours. I have bumped accounts till Thursday and Gabriel till Friday. And your next appointment is in precisely half an hour. Uh, so when's my next appointment? In half an hour. Coffee? No, that'll be all, thank you. Soph, how are you? No, no, I was just checking in, uh, wondering if you needed any more money. I, I didn't need to ask that, did I? <laughs> so, is she there? Great. Could you put her on? Yeah, I love you too. Did you miss me? Oh, sorry. Uh, it was just Helen Carson. You hung up on Helen Carson? Uh, she had me on hold. It was elevator music. Ah, oh, life's too short for saxophone classics? It certainly is. Are you okay? Oh, Sophie is on line one. She says she got cut off. Uh, shall I put her through? Uh, tell her I'll call her back. Okay. And uh, Libby, uh, could you remind me to call Helen Carson before the end of day? Sure. Right, uh, up for a coffee. Come on. Are you aware that scheduled surgeries are being delayed? That's so. The health surgeons are run off their feet. Why? Because the surgical nurses are shirking their duties. Doctors and nurses have very specific roles. At present, the nurses are performing their allocated tasks. Nothing more, nothing less. You mean the nurses are inconveniencing patients and doctors to make a point? Only because we want to be treated fairly, and once that happens, then we'll go back to doing all the jobs the house surgeons can't be bothered doing. Our junior doctors already work unthinkable hours. I know that, Luke. Everyone knows that. We're not doing this for fun. Have you thought about the stress this is putting on the patients, their families? Yes, that's true. Things are about to get a bit more awkward before I they I can improve. hear you halfway down the hall. Good. You learn anything? From now on, please deal with your union matters when you're off duty. Well, legally, I am allowed to deal with union matters within work hours. No, legally, you have to give me notice about that. I was just trying to explain... And you me. haven't. Now get to work. I did what you asked. Scare the kid and get the MP3s back. But you didn't. OK, so I got my mate Lewis on the job. Big deal. No, except he got the wrong kid. Oh, so that's why he didn't cough up the goods. Uh-huh. Well, I forget about those goods if I was you. We don't want your mate coming up on assault charges. Just a couple of bruises, wasn't it? A little bit more than that, actually. Ah, Hunter, you remember Pete? Mate, how you doing? How do you think I'm doing? <sighs> mate, what can I say? Wrong time, wrong place. And Lewis, well, Lewis isn't the sharpest knife in the drawer. Well, look at the time. Catch around. Pete was meant to deal with Daniel, but he sent one of his goons instead. You know the rest. So you sit there and you're like, only to lose the MP3 players and the money he'd already made. Hunter, the way the kid's going, he's heading for prison. I was actually trying to help. It's not just receiving stolen goods. There's computer fraud, false IDs, and Lord knows what else. 
any work to rule action involving reduced duties or hours is defined as a strike. Well, that's a very literal interpretation, one which I will be discussing with the union rep as soon as my roster allows. Good. But until you have their formal support, the nurses will resume regular duties. What are we going to do now? Keep going. Don't give in. Remember, while we are at work, Scotty is management, not your husband. Has anyone seen Mrs. Summers? Didn't Carol hand her over? I had to go to the post office. You were unbelievable! There were huge queues. Carol's gone when I got back. Do you think she did a runner? Mrs. Summers has seen old dementia. I know! So she doesn't even know she's lost. Great. This is not a joke. <sighs> Keep your hair on. She's probably in the toilet. You better hope she is. Your lateness and incompetence has endangered a vulnerable patient, not to mention putting our case at risk. Because doctors don't really get the time of day to nurses who are late and incompetent. I'll take it from here, Trace. Okay, sorry. I will calm down and then I'll help you. You're on a break and if anyone needs to stick to the rules, it's you, right? Let's go. Let me know when you find her, yeah? Well? It's your bad luck, eh? Not my fault. Is that it? Well, what do you want me to say? You could say sorry. Or at least act like you even care. Thanks to you, I can't do my Ambo job. I can't do the practical labs on my uni course. I can't I even... I saw it. What? I saw you getting beaten up. I was there. I knew it was me that he was looking for, and I didn't say anything. I was in the kitchen. I couldn't move. I, I know I'm a loser. I would say coward. I'm, I'm really sorry. I never meant for this to happen. Just sort yourself out, man. OK, because whatever's going on inside your head, it's not right, eh? So, uh, did you talk to Sophie? Yes, uh, she just needed more money. I meant, did you talk to her about us? On the phone? No, I don't think so. Will she be that upset? <laughs> that would be a safe bet. Um, I'll get it. Hello, Macau residence. Sure, I'll just... It's Brooke Freeman. I'm a colleague of Callum's. Yes, that was me in the photo. Oh, you're too kind. I'll pass you on. It's your mother. Ah. Uh, Mum, hi. How is everything? Hello? You okay? Hi. Hey, are you hurt? Uh, Mrs. Summers. Mrs. Summers? I'm a doctor at the hospital. Jeez, you're freezing. It's all right. Come on. Mm. Let's get you inside. Don't know about you, but I'm dying for a cup of tea. Yeah? Sounds good? Okay. Mm. Her name tag will say Gwyneth Summers. Yeah, Summers, that's right. OK, could you let all your drivers know? Ta. Thank you. Bye. You need me? I need to know why you're not on your break. I am on my break. I'm relaxing, eating. You're working, admit it. Mm -mm. I just heard you on the phone looking for old Mrs. Summers, which means you're working on your break, which is practically scab labour. <laughs> it's not funny. Patient's gone missing. Well, why do you care? You're not the only nurse in the building. Mm. A few months ago, there was a patient who went missing. And she was old and lonely, and we kind of looked after her and let her think she was helping out around the place. Go on. She was murdered by Ethan Pierce. I see. Never forgive myself for not looking harder, for just giving up. OK, um, I have a confession to make. I found Mrs. Summers out by the car park. She's upstairs safe and sound. You are a prat. <laughs> Look, I was going to tell you when you finished telling me. You just let me sit here and ramble on and yeah, on about yeah, Betty. Yeah, and... yeah, all right. The main thing is we found her, right? You won't tell the other nurses that I worked on my break? Well, you're such a slacker. Who would believe me? 
<laughs> I don't know why I said all those things to you. You didn't deserve it. Uh, it's over now. No, it's not. There are some things you need to know. I'm listening. I was here when Hunter got beat up. I hid in the kitchen. Well, then I took off. But, well, you were scared. Anyone Mom, would if they were... there's more. I stuffed up Kieran's computer, loaded a virus. For the whole day, it was chaos. Then he paid me to fix it. When he found out, he went septic. Well, that's when you walked in, remember? The only reason I got a job at the CAF was so you wouldn't get sus because of all this money I had from the licenses. What? The fake IDs for the kids at school. I was selling them. Okay, well, um, thank you for telling me. Is there anything else? You know about the MP3 players? Mm-hmm. Oh, that guy from the party? Who? Remember that guy who was wrapped in plastic? Came into hospital? That was me. Well, um, it's good that you've owned up. I'll understand if you boot me up. I won't hold it against you. No, no one's booting you anywhere. Oh, well, you should. I'm so sorry. I know. Are you sure you don't mind? So long as you come back with an appetite. Oh, I will. Not just for dinner, either. I like the sound of that. That's your warm-up. Off you go. <laughs> oh, you don't mind if I slip the door? Safety first and all that. No, I insist. He sat right here and told me. Who supplied them? Oh, I don't know. Where is he now? Out in his room. No, TK, just leave him. I said to talk to him and get the details. It's too late for talking. But we can't just sit here and do nothing. Yeah, I know that, and I also know what I have to do, but can you just give me a minute? Okay, uh, Doctor will see you shortly. Tanya, if you've got a moment, can you candy light and do bloods over here? Uh, I would, but you know I can't. Maxwell, just to remind you that cannulation and venipuncture are the responsibility of junior doctors, not nurses. Yes, that's right. It's in the rule book, underlined and read. Oh, so you do remember. Yes. Can, you, can you also tell me, where does it state that there's one set of rules for you and another set for Tanya? What? If you have an issue, now is not the time to air it. Well, all I can hear is you airing your issues loud and clear. What's going on? Maxwell, being new here, is finding the regulations confusing. Oh, contraire. It's you who finds them confusing. She worked through her break, you know, to help out. An elderly patient went AWOL. It was cold outside and she had senile dementia. I was worried you would be too. It's OK. Patient welfare first, right? Yeah. Brock, it's just me. That was quick. No point taking the slow lane when there's a beautiful woman waiting. Uh, and a hot meal. And a quiche smells good. Yeah, you should jump in the shower. So then everything will smell good. Point taken. This is sweet. Yeah, uh, Sophie, uh, she's a good kid. I thought teenagers were supposed to hate their dads, or was that just me? Uh, Sophie has some moments. Strange 
that she didn't sign it, though. Minimal effort, even for her. It's kind of her to spell it out, though. You should see her text. Callum? Yes? If there is someone else sharing your bed, I would really prefer it that you told me to my face. No one is sharing my bed. That is the truth. Thank you. I needed to hear that. Good. Can I do anything? Uh, you can come and grab a seat. Thanks. I'm really hungry. What is all around? That'd be cool. Thank you. I hope you're not working tomorrow. I saw this poster at Sugar about an exhibition this guy's having. It's all old tea stuff, like pots and cups and cozies and things. It made me think of Nan. It's called Big Teas, and maybe we can pick her up a gift or something. Well, let's um, pencil it in, shall we, and, and see how tomorrow pans out. I'll have the shop. <laughs> Three second rule. No jokes, I'll get another one. I love you, Dan. Just remember that, okay? What's that, Mum? Sarah Potts. And, um, this is Daniel, my son. Well, I expect you know why we're here. <laughs> I'm sorry. Daniel Potts, you're under arrest for the receiving and selling of stolen goods. I didn't know what else to do. Well, what kind of mother are you? Come on, don't make this any harder. One day you'll thank us, mate. You are not my father. You do not talk to me. We had no choice. And you are not my mother. Never have been and never will be. Thank you, officer. I'll be there shortly. Righto. Oh, you've done a very brave thing. It's not brave. It is despicable. We'd run out of options. <laughs> you go find one mother who would do that to her child. You can't. There is no such woman. Sarah, please don't Daniel's beat yourself Daniel's right. I'm not a mother. That is not true. Stop saying that. I'm so glad that we won't be having any more kids because I would only stuff it up that it's guaranteed. Please, don't talk No, TK, if I wasn't totally sure before, I am more than now. No more kids ever. Oh, look, look, you haven't stuffed it up. You did the right thing. No, no. Will you come no, here? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> They're so hot for each other, it's almost embarrassing. She's fallen for the wrong doctor. I wouldn't spit on him if he was on fire. You think he's a bit of all right. You are so wrong. Shortland Street, 7 o'clock tomorrow, TV2.